Good morning, everyone. I'm having another struggle with technology today, so I'm just going to leave the screen as is. So, <laughs> I just wanted to make a little comment. I've been, uh, you know, watching everything roll in with the election polls. And I want to say, first of all, um, that uh, for quite some time now, they've uh, they've been saying there's going to be a lot of chaos around the election. Nothing's going to be clear, and it's going to be basically the it's the beginning of the storm. This is uh, this is when it really begins, um, and there's going to be an attempted uh, takeover, and um, that this is their sort of last dying attempt to gain control. So, you know, take heart, everyone. Um, try not to get upset about what you see. Uh, we saw this coming. We knew this was coming a long time ago. Uh, weeks ago, they were calling uh, the leftist uh, support network. The really, you know, uh, radical ones were calling for um, chaos and social unrest um, on election night and, and after. So, you know, do be careful and, and don't be surprised uh, by the lies that you see. Um, the media will not be honest. Um, social media is not going to be honest. And they haven't been for a long time. So um, it's in everybody's best interest to just stay calm and uh, keep plugging away at the truth. Um, and I wanted to share a couple things. Uh, number one, uh, the thing that's really coming to mind for me is our own uh, election uh, when Trudeau won his second term. And I remember at the time I was still listening to the Thomas Williams Truth, Honor, and Integrity show, and he really, you know, gave us a, 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 a right talking to after Trudeau got reelected. And I was like, that's it, I'm done listening to this show. If you can actually believe, like, after all the truth that he says, that this election was a truthful election that people actually voted Trudeau in, I lost complete faith in the man for having any kind of real sense of, of what is going on up here if he actually thought that the results of our election were true and honest because he knows elections got stolen all the time and for anybody else who thought that Canadians actually re-voted for Trudeau um, you can see what's happening in the US right now it's the same thing happened up here we just have even more censorship up here like you wouldn't believe um, it's insanity in terms of censorship up here. We have even fewer uh, news outlets and they're not owned. Um, th there's, there's no real voice. We are literally the 10% of the population of the US. Uh, we have more land than um, you know most countries. I think Russia is the only country with more land than we have. And, uh, and yet we have the population of France, pretty much. Um, and we don't even have uh, the feistiness of the French whatsoever. Um, so that said, um, this is what it feels like. Uh, and, and it sucks. It really sucks. I know what it sucks. And the thing is that your election means more to the entire planet than ours does to uh, the entire planet. So we're all rooting for freedom. We are, uh, and we're watching this. And and don't be surprised if a lot of Canadians are like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, election fraud, because it happened to us last year. And uh, but last year everyone was turning around and giving us hell, because apparently we voted in a, a racist pedophile, which is not true. I, I can't. I I don't. I know very very few people that voted for him. Uh, personally. Anyway, um, I will say this. Uh, keep heart. We all know that this is not the true reflection of what's going on. Uh, like I said, you guys, we've all had, you know, many, many weeks of uh, forewarning that this was going to happen. So it's not a big surprise. Um, I was going to stay up a little bit later and, you know, see how the numbers are coming in and stuff. And you know what, I, I don't really need to at this point because I know how it's going to play out for, for the next little while. It's just what the exciting thing is when it's finally going to come to light. Now, there's two videos I wanted to share with you. 
One is called Find the Light RB. Her name is uh, Rebecca Barron. She's a really interesting woman. Uh, she just recently did a Q&A session. It's like three hours long, it's super long. Um, but she did another one um, that was nine minutes and she's basically, the gist of everything that she was saying in the three hour one is that things are really gonna start turning around in March, uh, which is also very interesting because it happens to be the actual true beginning of the year um you know the, the the year truly begins in the spring it's it's after the winter is finished not the, the the first day of new year is not january 1st but march 21st and she said that this is when you were going to really see a shift a massive shift uh, ongoing and, and a big jump apparently so um she's also been saying it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better especially in the u.s so my, my heart really goes out to you guys if this is true if, if her if her feelings and findings are true um there's a really good video both of them uh if you can get through the three hours i usually do those kinds of length videos over a few days because it takes a long time to get through it all um and then for those of you that don't know uh yellow rose for texas has a new video out um which is amazing um and it's jam-packed and uh there's a lot of good stuff in there. So, take heart. Don't give up. This is only the beginning of the final battle. It begins today. Stay safe. Have situational awareness. Stay emotionally neutral as best you can. But know in your heart what you've picked. Don't, don't be neutral in your heart. Don't be neutral in your mind. But do be neutral in your emotions. Don't feed the beast. Don't give them your anger. Don't give them your panic. Don't give them your worry. And don't fall for their tricks. All of this is an illusion. All of it. This is their last death throes. And they will throw everything at us. Everything. Until they finally go into the dark night into their dark night, which will be our dawn of a new day, of a new world, with heart and love, compassion and bravery, and each other. So stay in the love, and I hope you have a really good night, everyone, and I'll talk to you really soon. Okay, bye for now.